Hello and welcome. Today we will be looking at my cat layout types. I haven't had any cat layouts for long. I bought my first one last October. My first ones, I should say, last October at the Dutch Orchid Show. This is my first one, which I mounted. At least, well, I almost I mounted them all. This is my Cattleya Little Lemon Drops times Cattletonia Why Not. I've seen this one on Roger's channel many times before and I really love it. So I couldn't pass it by when I saw it at the show. Those two, two growths are the latest growths and I hope it will be blooming one day. Wow, focus. Wow. He did the root thing. And as Roger always says, these roots look terrible very soon, but they keep on branching and branching. my first one which seemed to be doing okay this one I also bought at the Royal Orchid Show of the Dutch Orchid Show I should say it was growing with that growth when I bought it which he finished with just one leaf. It's Cattleya Brabantiae. Then it shut out this growth and this growth and a lot of roots. There's absolutely no moss on this mound. This was the only one they had with a new growth growing. I don't know how big it should get to be blooming size. It's, I thought, across from Lolly Jesse times Aglandier. And I really hope it's blooming size or near blooming size. Try to focus, focus. Be a spike. Let's hope so. And then I got thought. I really like Catalias. They seem to be doing okay. So I start buying more Catalias. Well, plus of This is Brassavola, Brassacatlia, probably Arcatlia, a yellow bird. It's, it's not doing that great. It has new growths, but they don't really rock at all like you would expect. Another new growth. It's grown roots. It's firmly attached to the tiny, way too tiny mount already. Let's hope it picks up. Next, my Brazzavola Jairak Kiku, which I think grew on from the ceiling. There are all bulbs here. They grew that growth, which is not full size. Well, the leaf isn't full size. If you look at the bulb, it's the same size, or the, maybe even bigger than those two on the right. 
as you can see nothing inside the leaf it's really going there with roots firmly attached so I think it will pick up I would really love to see the blooms on those one, on that one. Well, on all of those. I haven't had a, I haven't got a Kelia to rebloom till now. Let's hope the, in not the distant future. This is my Brasovola Jiminy Cricket, which I got from Klaassen orchids. It's stalled. That leaf died back, that leaf died back, that leaf started to die back, so I cut it. It grew some roots which are hydrating the plant, thankfully. It shut up this growth in the last months. She is bifoliate, which is strange, because it's a cross between two Brasovola, which is Brasovola nodosa and Brasophola, which is now called Rhinocolalia dickbiana, but it's growing, it isn't dying, so yeah. Let's wait and see what this one will do. When I mounted it, the velamen from the roots all came off, but I saw the roots still green up, so I left the roots which hydrated the plants for about a week or two and then died off I'm not that fussed about it there are some new roots which are hydrating the plant so now with it oh, I forgot, almost forgot one it's my only potted Cattleya type it's in Cyclico Digida yes, I thought I, it would flower but flower spike died back and it isn't that much of a big plant so it is doing roots at the moment but I really should get it in larger bark but because I think it's staying too wet for too long at least there's a lot of roots growing got a nice new growth well I guess it's a nice new growth I don't know how big a growth on an Encyclia codicera should be, but it's looking nice with a crop of happy sap. Yeah, let's hope that one picks up too. Nice sturdy leaves, which were all the Cattleyas, I guess. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you soon. How do